it's probably beyond his wildest dreams. Um, he would be so proud of what has uh, the ITE transformation. I think this is the direction they all wanted to go in, but um, probably not, not expecting to be uh, world class the way we are now. And the three ITE campuses and the way that they have become icons in the wider Singapore community of uh, what uh, a skills-based education is all about, that it is something that is a um, little bit glamorous and um, something that is to be celebrated rather than to be tucked away in some corner. I think this would really describe the way he saw it. He, he, he was a hands-on person his whole life. And I think my father would have been inspired not just by the architectural marvels that are our three new ITE campuses and the iconic role that they play in Singapore just putting um, this hands-on, hearts-on education front and center uh, in the minds of Singaporeans, but also the thinking that's going into um, the whole area of technical education and this realization by more people that you can't cut a person up into pieces and just expect them to have a purely, uh, say, uh, intellectual approach to work on the one hand or maybe a purely uh, technical or, or um, uh, applied approach to, to their work, but it's all mixed in together and that's the kind of person that he was he, and I think he would see and be so proud of how ITE is in many ways at the forefront of that kind of um, a renewal, human renewal that's going on in Singapore society that gets us away from mindsets of this is white collar and this is blue collar and that actually ITE is a thought leader in this area.